coupled as council members in particular, we were all saying all along that the city farm is not part of the Riverview Farm Park. But this is a city produced map. The green outline shows where the park land is, and it includes that. It even goes over and includes the marina. It's up here, including the former landfill. So it includes all that. That's from the city. And we had a couple of people on the council, at least, that were saying otherwise. And you wonder where they get their information. Now, the next one. Now, the next one was kind of suggested. One thing we would like to see in the future would be uh, trails along the waterfront, for, like we have up here in the upper part of the park, uh, that bicycles and, and people could walk along these trails. But that's just a suggestion as far as when you, when you design the trail, you have to take into account the topography and what's there. So, uh, Okay, and now in some more aerial views. Now, this is kind of the hindrance now to us getting on and all these, that's the uh, city impound lot, lot. There's maybe 30 cars in there with trucks. Um, the canine units, the kennels, they, they use some of these, I'm not sure which building, but they're, they're on there somewhere. see them right there. Which one? Just underneath where your hand was, up a bit. Up a bit. Those two there. This up here? Yeah. Okay. So, um, and this is where the barn used to be, right there. Uh, but go on. And in this one, you can see where they dug out for the um, archaeological dig. You keep going. And, uh, okay. And they found this well. This is a well. They got a lot deeper. As they went down, they had to broaden it out. And they bring out things, and then they shift it to, to get the loose dirt out to see what's left in it. Now, this is uh, certainly a great find. Uh, it's a foundation of a building, as you can see. I think it's the courthouse. It could be the courthouse. Yeah, that's what was suggested. That's the. view from uh, close to where the prison used to be, right behind them on the waterfront. And the city farm gym, what's going to happen there? Uh, these are some photos from the marina, and they, you can see they're in sequence, here from left to right. And then the next one, keep going, and you win. The last one, you get to go back. Oh, go back? Go That's back, go back. Good. I was going to say, when you get to the last one, you can see at the end of Deep, deep Creek goes out to where the Warwick River comes in, but you can see across the James River to the other side. So. Was that the Minchville Marina you were showing? Uh, they call it Minch, the it's, the, it's on the Minchville side, yeah. Yeah, on the okay, Minchville it's side. called Minchville. Yeah, Marina. some people call it Deep Creek. Deep Creek's mm -hmm. the other side. But Deep Creek, yeah. On Deep Creek Deep Road. Road. But it's all on the Deep Creek. It's all on Deep and Creek. On the River. Uh, these are some of the fishing boats. This is the CNU Sailing Center, uh, some of the the boat, they have a building also. Now, the other thing that
that's coming up and there's um, the planning commission will be uh, there's a notice on the table there along with some photos from uh, some of that interview also but uh, there's a, a meeting coming up soon where the planning commission is going to go over this Dimby Ward plan. Yeah, October 6th. Yeah, it's October what? 6th. 6th, okay, time. yeah. So what it is, when they start, decide the boundaries for the plan, they purposely left out Riverview Farm Park. But mm -hmm. you can see, it, when they talk about natural systems, they did put that in there as P being important. And one of the goals is to expand access to the water. And um, I don't think you can get too much by uh, putting people down on some of these creeks behind people's houses. You really need a substantial piece of land that's public for people to have access to the water. Adrian, why don't they put in the landfill and let them get, get that green going right to <coughs> the water's edge? That, that, that's not Riverview Farm Park layout there at all. No, no, that, that, that's, that's like I said, they, the people that did that yeah. were too... Uh, it's totally well, wrong. Yeah, they got it wrong as far as the shape of it, because it should go all the way down here. Um, but uh, this is connectivity. The, the other thing that would be necessary, would be important, would be have better connections to the neighborhood. Uh, because of like Lucas Creek Road is very narrow, so it's hard to get down if you want to ride a bicycle or walk, you know, it's not that safe. And uh, this is just comparing how far it is from here, to, from Denby, Ward, all the way down to Huntington Park. It's uh, almost 10 miles, whereas the next one, if you had people going to Riverview, it's, it's, uh, it's a little like 3.3 miles, something like that, but depending on which way you go. And, uh, and people were, some people were saying, particularly one, one uh, <laughs> One council person in the North District, who, who, who was very strong on the North District, that, that just doesn't really realize how important this is for the North District, not just for the Central. Because in order to go to the river, you have to go through the Central District, down to the South District, to Hunter Park, to, to get to a place similar to what this could be. And, um, and so it's, it's a beneficial to everybody to have that because it would take uh, make Huntington Park less crowded too. So, uh, but um, that's pretty much what I was going to talk about. But if you have any questions, anybody? Some things I can't, I don't, well. Whatever you can, don't say, don't say. Some things we're trying to get, but I'll tell you what we did get in the CIP. That CIP is Capital Improvement Plan that they, they work this up every year for a five year period, but the first year is the, is the one that's really in concrete. The rest can change drastically. Okay, so we got $300,000. Allocated this coming year for the park, uh, for the city farm. It's under city farm park is what how they listed it. Now you can't get a whole lot done for that now. We could get a lot more to done if the city council would come out with a stronger affirmative vote, resolution, whatever you want to call it, saying this is a park. It will remain a park and then apply for grants because 
they can get grants to uh, build um, uh, like bike trails or hiking trails or other things that are going to the park. So it would save a lot of money, yes. A lot of change since 1991 when the study was done. No. Uh, has anyone within, I mean, Riverview, say Riverview Far Park, suggested on uh, some of the, the parts of the Riverview Far Park how it would look today? I mean, because when you look at it, because I went on the website and I ran it and I looked and saw how everything was based on 1991 Newport News. Oh, everything was based on 1991 Newport News. But has anyone gone back and said, this is a little bit different than it was in Oh, uh, yes. We, we don't. The idea was to include all that was supposed to be in the park, but it doesn't mean everything that was suggested in 91 has to be done. So some things have, have changed. Uh, originally, they wanted to put baseball fields on mm -hmm. some of the land, uh, uh, softball fields, or something like that. They may not do it well. I was just going to add that we've been advocating for a citizen's advisory board mm -hmm. to yes. work with the Department of Parks and Recreation to. Um, we realize it's the other plan is 30 years old. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I, would, I think is important for everyone to know Riverview Farm Park is only second to Newport News Park in use and attendance yes. in Newport mm -hmm. News. It, it far gets more use than any other park mm -hmm. in the city. 